Uh, my name is Lincoln Ressler. I'm the district leader and state committeeman here in Greenpoint and, and for much of Williamsburg. Uh, just wanted to join you this evening to say hello and, and get updates on what's going on in the community. Firstly, wanted to commend Deputy Inspector Herson in the 94th for doing, uh, I think, an excellent job in controlling the crowds and addressing public safety issues around the concerts in East River State Park. Uh, their increased attention uh, to this issue has been very helpful uh, to the residents of the North Side who live right around these concerts. We've already had two this year, and I've heard consistently good reports back uh, on crowds leaving the concerts and heading back to the trains and not causing uh, as many problems as, as has been the case in years past. Uh, I don't have, have too many updates uh, for you this evening, but uh, you know, did want to uh, second the concerns, and I apologize for being late, but that I know were mentioned already this evening around uh, continued instances of anti-LGBT uh, hate crimes taking place in our neighborhood. It's now been a string of incidents and, uh, occurring over the last number of months, and uh, we need to continue to work uh, closely with the Anti-Violence Project, uh, with uh, the 90th and 94th precincts in Greenpoint and Williamsburg, and build awareness in our community uh, that hateful incidents, uh, hateful crimes, whether against LGBT folks or Polish folks or Orthodox Jews or people of any kind, uh, uh, race, creed, religion, sexual orientation, gender, will not be tolerated. And I have uh, had the privilege of working with Tom Burroughs a bit on this, and uh, I know that we're going to continue to do a lot of organizing this summer. Hopefully we'll get a strong community forum organized, a speak out of sorts uh, organized for this summer. And I, you know, while, while we have a couple months off for meetings, I hope that you'll all come out and join us and make your voices heard and, and, and lend your support. Uh, because we really do need to come together as a community to let these few violent offenders know that they are not welcome here and that their actions will quite simply not be tolerated. So those were the, the, the couple things I wanted to say. Happy to take any questions if there are any... Uh, any well, if some of these politicians stopped fornicating and did their job, after all, they're public <laughs> servants. For that matter, so is the president. We wouldn't have all these problems. We don't get our due guardianship or anything because they don't give the police enough authority. And I blame a lot of it on the politicians. They're so busy running the White House like a whorehouse and they're formigating. <laughs> it's like wine or whatever his name is. We need politicians that well, are dedicated I to the people. We the people, if they're public servants. I, I couldn't agree they, with you more that we need public servants that are dedicated to the people. Don't and you agree with me? Yes. I couldn't agree with that point more. They're not giving us our due and, share, and they're not giving the police enough authority. But, you know, I think we, have, we do have many so we good... got a bunch of police and assistants, they, they, they have no authority, right. so what so, good are they? I, I don't I don't exactly understand the reference to our president, Women but, are getting attacked but I do constantly. think, you know, I do think that... Uh, the actions of Representative Weiner were reprehensible, and he's made the decision that it was for the better to move on from the political process, uh, from his elected position. Uh, and I think we can now get back to focusing on the issues at hand. And well, we are fortunate in Greenpoint like to have a congresswoman who works exceptionally hard for this community. And Nidia Velasquez is as strong an advocate as any neighborhood in America could hope to have, uh, and so we are very privileged to have her representing us in the United States Congress. Any other questions or issues? Thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening in summer. I'll see you on August 7th.